Welcome to the show guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell. There'll be a little box that pops up. You've already seen it. Hit select all and you'll be updated on all our stuff going up on the web. Today we're going to be talking about stuff that you didn't know about Iron Order. Now this is a topic that garners all kinds of attention in the biker community. So, I've been getting a lot of emails since I did that first interview with Black Dragon. If you haven't seen it, go over and check it out. In that article, or in that interview actually, I talked about how, yeah, I had friends that were in Iron Order. And people just came back, Hollywood, say it ain't so, why, what are you doing? Well, let me put some stuff into perspective for you guys because a lot of people on the internet that go around bashing and stuff like that don't know this information. So I'm going to give you some inside stuff here today. The Iron Order, and I actually did a book on this, and I covered the book from when they first started. And that guy was named Ray Lebesky, or Lollipop as I call him. Okay, he is what really gave the Iron Order a bad name. He used to go around saying we're going to call cops, blah, blah, blah. And yes, there is cops in the Iron Order. And everybody knows that I can't stand. I don't like cops because how can you play biker and go out and bust? Anyway, so I did that book on Iron Order. I tried to stay as down the middle as I can with uh, you know criticisms and trying to uh, examine the issues that people have with uh, Iron Order. So that's a great book by the way and it's been selling like hotcakes that in uh, New Age of Biking and Brotherhood. Anyway when I did this interview with BD all these emails started flooding in and I said okay I'm gonna make a video of this so everybody knows I'm pretty straight up and I really don't care whose Wheaties I piss on if you got, you know. That's the only way Insane Throttle can thrive if this. We're down the middle and don't take sides on anything. So, taking it from that standpoint, I was able to do an interview with the, one of the, I think it was Elkhorn up in Wisconsin. It's on Insane Throttle, you just see the interview. Now, they invited me up there and you know what remind you I was one of the biggest hardest critics of Iron Order at this time but they let me into the clubhouse all that good stuff first thing people ask did you see cops no there's no cops in there and I don't think there's cops in the entire Wisconsin region uh, I got to meet with uh, the regional the regional sergeant at arms at that time uh, the chapter president, some guys from uh, Minnesota, and we had a great interview, man. We delved into everything, all the concerns. They answered all the, the whole thing. So I had to give them respect there for that because I was asking some hardcore questions. You know, when I do an interview, I'm not going to do any softball questions. I'm going to interview you. Anyway, after the interview, I got to, you know what, I, till this day, I got some good friends up there. Uh, one, I get to talk to one or two times a week, you know, if not one or two times a week, maybe every other week, and I really look forward to talking to him because he's an old school guy, and he's just like any other biker, he's not pulling punches, he's letting you know what's up, very successful guy. I also stay in touch with uh, the president of the chapter. And one thing that you guys might not know about Iron Order is you got some big five X members in that club. X one percenters, where the diamond, the whole nine yards. One of those guys actually got the whole interview process going and that type of stuff. 
So, and he was also a close friend of mine. Uh, he, was, he actually wore a piston uh, patch, he, you know, with me in DuPage County. So he's a great guy. And just because he went a different direction don't mean I'm not going to talk to him. I'm an independent. And a lot of people freak out about that. Well, you say you support this one. Well, yeah, I do. Of course I do the, the Chicago Club. I'm always going to support them. They're great guys. Uh, then you said uh, in the one, well, the Kazakh one percenters. Yeah, I support them too because you got to give them credit, man. You got to give them respect. After what happened in Waco, boom, they did their own thing. They're holding their own. So how can't you respect that? And then, of course, I respect the Sons of Silence. So there's a lot of clubs I respect. Now, do I respect the Iron Order? Not as a whole. Because Iron Order is mostly ran on the East Coast. And them guys are, you know, a lot of them are holdovers from Lollipop's day. The national president, under, on the other hand, he's a pretty damn good guy. And I think he's trying to get the club in the right direction. Because, you know, with Iron Order, Midwest, there's different regions and stuff. There's a lot different stuff going on. The East Coast is like your old Iron Order where your Midwest and West guys, your South, they're trying to go more traditional. With that said, I can tell you for a fact that Iron Order behind the scenes is talking with the bigger clubs. And they're doing so because they know the past crap was messed up. That wasn't the way to do shit, stuff like that. Now, are they supporting anybody? No. I'm not saying that, so don't come back at me like that. What I'm saying is, at least they're communicating with the bigger clubs. That way, there is no more issues. Because, God forbid, the motorcycle club scene does not need no more issues. You know, it's funny when uh, somebody said, Hey, uh, Hollywood. You're picking on this club or you're picking on that club all the time. That's all we see is news about them. They're the ones in the news, not me. I'm the one who puts it out. If they don't want to be in it, don't be in the news. What can I tell you? I'm not trying to bang on one or another or any of that stuff. Because again, it don't work for our platform. Our platform is down the middle. And if you noticed... Biker News is really the only time we're bringing up clubs anymore. Other than that, man, we're doing everything on independence. Yeah, we do a lot of club rights, but we're also interested in biker rights. And I do got that video coming out where it's talking about the challenge that independent bikers face. Because we're all in this together. Anyway, with Iron Order. So... If you don't like the fact that, hey, Hollywood, you got friends that are Iron Order, that's what I always say any damn way. Because I don't look at a patch. See, I'm independent. I don't look at the patch now. I look at the men behind the patch. And I can tell you one thing. The guy that I talked to in Iron Order, he was always calling me when I was sick, making sure I was all right. Hey, how can I help this? How can I help this? He didn't do it as a member of Iron Order. He did it as a friend. And that's the way I look at people. And that's the way I'll always look at people. Because I'm not in a club anymore. That type of thinking has actually kind of been thrown away club from anymore. me. I'm not in a, a video's coming out uh, that I did about life after a motorcycle club. So you'll see my feelings in that and uh, you know what, the club life was the best, some of the best times in my life. But now where I'm at, I love my independence. I love being able to go out there and help the biker community. And to do that, I'm going to be straight down the middle. I don't care about your politics. I don't care who this one likes or that one likes. One thing we can all agree on, and you guys know this from all my videos, is the cops. I, you know what? I just can't. I don't mind if you're being a motorcyclist enthusiast, but when you're throwing on patches and stuff, come on, that's out of freaking line. You guys know it. I know it. But whatever. So that is some of the stuff that you guys might not know about Iron Order, that they are behind the scenes right now. They are talking to people. 
And it's just something you guys on the internet are never going to hear about because one, you're not club members, most of you. And if you are, you're not high enough up to know these talks are going on. But what it comes down to, what it really does, is keeping the peace on the street. Because if you don't, the feds are going to roll all over you. And I can tell you what, not one of these clubs has enough money to outspend the government. Anybody who tells you otherwise is full of crap. They're going to just keep on going and keep on going and keep on going until finally they burn you down through uh, financial means. So hopefully that answers a lot of questions for you. Now, the first one's going to come up. Uh, do you support Iron Order? No, I do not. I do not. I support the men that I know in Iron Order. The one who's tried to help me when I was down. Uh, the guys up in Wisconsin that I communicate, make sure I'm uh, good because of the seizures that I had. You know, friends. Again, I don't support a patch. I'm not going to do that, but I do know a close friend of mine that I got the ride with, with a patch, is up there in Wisconsin, and he's never did me wrong. So to go and do a 360 or a 380, whatever the hell, and say, well, you're wearing an Iron Order patch, and just because I don't approve how, some, how you guys do some of your stuff, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Again, not happening. You guys got to start looking at the men behind the patches. It is a whole new world.